show them some love. Lennox and Cypress Hill. Ready to go to Scots at 6 p.m. It's going to be going up for Sherry sure. Lennox Entertainment and Boxing, the lineage of greatness. And then we go to our home and future Ladies and gentlemen, on the next game, Side by side, Wally, Wally, side. Both of you guys are on the same team. Here we go, I got you. Fred Joe Star, stick your fingers. On it! 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 On This is definitely my era. This is definitely my forte. Music is what I love. Hip hop is what I love. Onyx is a legendary rap group. Holding it down for the East Coast. And of course, who does not know Cypress Soul that's in this room right now, representing for the West Coast. But what I love about this is going to be a friendly versus battle. Both groups have so much respect for each other. But this is definitely history for hip hop. We cannot wait to see it. Actually, I'm going to call the fellas over here right now. Why don't I get Onyx over here first? Onyx, come on over here to the side of the stage. Yo, what up? Do a promotion with the fellas. Having fun. I, I believe the last time I saw them, they almost ran me over with a Jeep Wrangler, but it was, it was a good time. It was a good time. Hey, fellas. Love. Because we represent hip hop culture, we love hip hop. So that's what we gonna give y'all, real hip hop. Let's talk about how real hip hop it's going to be tomorrow night. You guys are going up against Cypress Hill, but as we spoke about before, it's not a battle, it's all love. Two legendary groups coming together. Did you ever see it? Because you dreamt the verses, but did you dream about it knowing that you would be battling Cypress Hill? Hey man, somebody head gonna come off. <laughs> come on. Hey, famous last words from a uh, uh, famous guy. I love it. What do you think? No comment. Oh my God. They're playing so gully right now, but you guys are really excited about it. Okay, so then fine. What are your predictions during your versus battle tomorrow? My prediction is this. We're going to represent for everybody. It's going to be a W all the way around for the whole culture, hip hop, Onyx, Cypress Hill. We represent the culture. You know what I'm saying? But when it's time to get down and dirty, we get shifty, low down, gritty, and grimy. That's what's up. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to let you guys get that energy. I can't wait to see it on stage tomorrow at the Forum live. Trilla, it's going to be amazing. Now, let me get Cypress Hill all over here, fellas. I'm going to go ahead and escort y'all over. The ladies are going to escort y'all over to the right. As Cypress Hill moves on over here. And I have yet had a chance to speak to the fellas that are representing the West Coast. Super excited. How you doing, guys? It's, it's, a, lot of, it's a lot of energy, it's a lot of energy. Let me get in the middle so I can help, help work these mics over here. What's going through your mind? I mean, did you see yourselves even doing verses? And when you heard about the opportunity, did you see it going up against you? No, I never, I never saw us doing that, whatever, but when it was presented to us, you know, we believe to be ourselves to be some of the finest competitors in all the hip hop. So whatever people want to do with us, you know, we're always trying to do it. So, you know, versus Onyx, you know, uh, like they said before, uh, they got respect for us and we've been there, we've known them for many years, but you know, a battle is a battle. It's time to get dirty. And uh, that's how Southgate does it. You do it in your backyard though. It's Speaking of home court, it's in the legendary forum. How, how big does it feel to be able to do this with children at the forum? It's incredible, you know, right here in our backyard, doing it at the forum, representing for the West Coast, LA. You know, this is how we do it. We're, in, uh, we, we're ready for this, you know. If we, we don't step down from a battle, any kind of battle. So uh, it's going to be great for hip hop. It's going to be great for the city. And uh, people want to have a good night. What I can say is that you guys have not stopped. New music out right now. Also, a documentary that people are paying attention to. 
But what does this night mean for hip hop? Well, I think for hip hop, it's a special moment because we're doing things that really, you know, haven't been done. And I think that uh, any time that hip hop can get, you know, cross another threshold like that, it adds to the legacy of hip hop and, and all the versatility that goes along with it. So, you know, I think you should, you know, be ready for a good show. I know Onyx is going to bring their heat and we're going to bring our heat and it's going to be a good, a good time. And, uh, you know, let, and let it go on. Let, let the battle happen. Three gentlemen like that Triller has the faith that would be future superstars in the world of boxing. Let's give them a hand. Ray, I'm going to turn it back to you. This is, this is a great day for boxing. And they all look like movie stars, too. I love that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Vargas Dynasty, the newly signed fighters to Triller Fight Club. Here they are with their entire team, David T. Trump, and this brought to you by Triller Fight Club along with Vargas Dynasty and Media Promotions. Ladies and gentlemen, what a historic day for the Vargas Dynasty. They are with Triller Fight Club. Let's give them We go ahead and speak with David Teachrell of Triller Fight Club. And, and David, what a moment to be able to have the three sons of the legendary Fernando Vargas Sr., a part of Triller Fight Club. Tell us about how excited you are because I know you and the entire team have been very instrumental in making sure that the Vargas dynasty is in the fold with Triller Fight Club. The excitement that we have at Triller and all throughout Triller Fight Club is monumental. We see these boys as the perfect, perfect uh, content creators and the ultimate boxers, getting everything that Triller can bring as a content creation company, an entertainment company, a platform, and we are really, really excited about progressing with all of them, Fernando, their father, their management team, all the way to world championships for all three of them. We've structured, and structured a deal that really takes into account everything that we want to do with these boys, both inside and outside the ring. It's going to be a phenomenal ride. The lineage of greatness has just begun, and it's taking off tomorrow, May 14th, at the Forum. L.A. Boxing is back. Let's go. Vargas family dynasty, the legendary El Feroz, Fernando Vargas. Fernando, you've had some iconic moments in your career, and this is the start of something very special for all three of your sons. How excited are you to watch them compete tomorrow, and the fact that now they put pen to paper with Triller Fight Club. It's truly, truly a blessing for me. Um, you know, this is truly amazing, you know, as a fatherless son, that didn't have a dad present, I just say to myself, look at what my dad could have had. You know, but and thank you, thank you, appreciate it. You know, at the end of the day, my kids are my life. And I know every every father and every mother here feels the same way. You give your life up for your kids if you need to. And just what I'm living now with my boys is truly amazing. And don't don't get it twisted. China has hands too. My daughter has hands too. And she can throw hands too. It's not just the boys, it's also my sister in my little girl that she's 14 years of age. And I'm not a reason yet, I'm pretty soon, so I'm excited. All right, give it up, ladies and gentlemen. All right, give it up, ladies and First on to the scale, we have Anel Duto. I'm gonna look out here, Anel. Step on the scale. 128.5. 128 and a half for Duto. 128 and a half for Duto. This one in the super featherweight division. Anel Duto. 
and his opponent, Amado Vargas. Amado Vargas making his U.S. debut. I want to thank the entire Triller Fight Club team, David Tietro, also of course, the Meyer as well. Great to be here in Los Angeles for Triller vs. Five. Also, Cypress Hill and Onyx go head to head in the versus battle. You can watch it live on Fight TV, also pay-per-view.com for your local cable or satellite company for availability. Okay, take the chain off. <laughs> Too many diamonds. Too many diamonds. This one, four rounds or less in the super featherweight division. Too many diamonds. Uh -oh. Too many. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, for information on tomorrow night's event, visit trillerfightclub.com. Again, visit trillerfightclub.com. Follow us on social media at Triller Fight Club. Behind the scenes look at what is going on as we get closer to fight night tomorrow night from the Legendary Forum here in Los Angeles. A big fight week for Triller Fight Club. We look forward to what is to come here in 2022. Now we have a Marvel. This is one third of the Vargas family dynasty. Amado Vargas looking to remain undefeated. Anel Dudo has other plans. This one in the super featherweight division. Amado Vargas making his U.S. debut against Anel Dudo. Left, right. Right. Face off, please. Amado Vargas and Anel Dudo match up tomorrow night from the legendary forum here in Los Angeles. It's Triple Cross 5. A big TV pay per view now campaign from the local people and satellite providers. All right, gentlemen. Amado, if you want to go ahead and Head over to Roxy Bulls coming by way of knockout fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Here is Emperos Fernando Vargas Jr. First off to the scale, we got Terrence. Charman. Let's step on the scale, Terrence. 148 even for Terrence Charman. 148 even for Terrence Charman. And his opponent, named after his legendary father. So far, he has started off his professional career with a bane. Five fights, five victories, all of those coming inside the distance. Five KOs to his resume. Here is El Veros Fernando Vargas Jr. One fifty-one and a half for Fernando Vargas Jr. One fifty-one and a half for Fernando Vargas Jr. And as is customary when it comes to prize fighting. They will have a ceremonial stare down Stand up for the here at the front of the stage. Both men are undefeated. Right. Terrence Jarman coming from the city of Toledo, Ohio, the hometown of former lightweight champion of the world, Robert Esther Jr. Fernando Vargas Jr. Looking to follow the footsteps of his iconic father, Fernando Vargas Sr. It is lineage of greatness, a part of Sugar vs. Five emanating from the forum here in Los Angeles. You can purchase it live on Fight TV, paperview.com, or wherever your cable or satellite providers are. 
as we await Fernando Vargas Jr. to make his way to the front against Terrence Jarman. Both men are undefeated. Closer, closer. Right here, right here. Nice, nice. And this is the stare down, ladies and gentlemen, Fernando Vargas, Jr. Terrence Jarman, both men with perfect records. That'll go away tomorrow night. The war made undefeated from the forum here in Los Angeles. And now Fernando Vargas Jr. can go ahead and fights nine victories. Six of those coming by way of knockout, fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia. He's the son of the real deal. Evander Holyfield, the former unified heavyweight and cruiserweight champion of the world. Here is Evan Holyfield. Evan Young, Holy Holyfield. And now on to the scale, we have Jermaine McDonald on the scale. 153.5. 153 and a half for McDonald. 153 and a half for Jermaine McDonald. And his opponent, Evan Young, Holy Holyfield. Champion, the youngest 
of the Vargas family dynasty. Incidentally, you heard the legendary Michael Buffer mention the fact that they just signed a multi-year deal to compete here on Trailer Fight Club events. We have Mark Salgado and Emiliano Vargas. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the 18-year-old Emiliano Vargas and Mark Salgado. Face off, face off. Face off, guys. This is Vargas and Salgado, our co-main event of Triple Rex 5 from the legendary Q4 here in Los Angeles. And now Emiliano will make his way down the steps. And coming to the stage for the official weigh-in numbers. His record stands at 28 victories, only two defeats, 14 wins by knockout from Sofia, Bulgaria. Ladies and gentlemen, Kubra, the Cobra Pule. Stepping onto the scales first, let's bring in Sir Jerry Forrest. Jerry the Slugger Forrest. Outstanding record, 26 wins, 20 wins by knockout in a heavyweight division. Two hundred thirty-three pounds for Jerry the Slugger Warren. Next on the scales, no stranger to big time heavyweight boxing from Bulgaria, Kubra, the Cobra Pule. Twenty-eight victories, only two defeats, sixteen wins by knockout. The official numbers for the weigh-in. 248 and a half pounds. Oh, the 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 of the 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 Sergey Crusher Kovalev. One ninety-six point five for the Crusher Sergey Kovalev. This main event is knockout power versus knockout power. Hula, 16 and 0 with 16 fights, 13 by knockout. Kovalev, his record stands at 34 victories, including 29 knockouts. Michael, this is going to be an absolute barn burner as you talked about. Someone's going to sleep with this man. Ray, the referees and the judges tonight or tomorrow night might not have too much work to do. 
especially in these two coaches. Here we are, Kula and Carolyn are mainly been knockout puncher versus knockout puncher. That's their history. Let's see what happens. And now Sergey 